Okay, Chuck, here is your video on how to use your SDR radio with digital apps. It's important that you start it in this sequence. First thing you need to do is come down here and start the virtual serial port driver manager like this. Yes, you want to make changes. And you'll see that it's up now and the show you the uh, COM ports it's created. So we'll minimize that, then we'll start Power SDR. So that's going now. Notice that it started in the digital U mode. You need to do that so that the virtual audio cables will work properly. Okay. After you do that, then start the virtual audio cable program. It's very important that you start Power SDR before you start the VAC program because Power SDR divines the VAC cables. So we'll start the VAC program, virtual audio cables. There's a control panel. It's all working. Okay, now we're ready to start your digital program. So we'll come down here to WSJT. We'll start that up. to make changes say yes okay now you see it started up on 20 meters and I already see some signals here so I know we're gonna get some decodes here pretty quick all right there we are three decodes that time around Okay, Let's see what we get this time around. Yeah, very nice. He's calling CQ, so let's call him back. I'm returning his CQ. Looks like we're putting out 5.4 watts. Let's see if he hears us. All right. Yep, you heard us. Out of sequence starts. So we're replying to him. Or you are, Chuck. <laughs> your call sign. There he is right there coming back to us. We're sending him a signal report now. He sent us a negative 14. Let's see if we stretch this out a little farther here. Let's see. We sent him back a negative 14. He's replying back to us. And we're saying R, 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 we copied him. So this next time around, he'll tell us 73 as he replies back. Yep, he just told us 73, and we're replying with a 73 back to him. Log QSO, your first contact check, and you're done. <coughs> That's on to the next one. Okay. And there he is calling CEQ again looking for somebody else. And we're done. Okay. FL Digi, same thing. Just come down here, bring it up. 
So what, yes, you can make changes. And FL Digi comes up. Now we need to switch frequencies here. And let's go to um, let's go to PSK31 right there. And then we'll look down here for some PSK signals. I don't see any. Of course, we could call CQ to see if someone comes back. So let's do that. There we go. We're gonna call the CQ at 5.3 watts out. It's going to be a long video, Chuck, if somebody comes back. Oh, and there's what we're calling right there. That's our transmitted signal. Throws it back into receive. And nobody's coming back. At least not that I see. All right, anyway, so shutting down. Um, close your digital program first. Confirm quit. You can go ahead and just turn off Power SDR from here. You don't need to close these other apps out in any sequence. It doesn't really matter. Although you might want to so you don't accidentally mess them up. So we'll just close them out. One other thing I did for you, Chuck, if you come over here, you'll see an icon that says SDR and apps. What this is, is these are nothing more than screenshots that I set up. So if you change your settings and you want to get it back to the way I put it, all you need to do is bring up the screenshot and look at how I had it set up on each of the digital programs and on your Flex. They're all labeled pretty clearly, okay? Well, that's it, Chuck. Enjoy.